Hey guys, welcome back. Um, <laughs> I'm a bit depressed today, but I I'm a bit depressed today, but I am still willing to make a video for you guys. Cause I like, cause I love my subscribers. No matter what mood I'm in, I love my subscribers. So I will make a video for you guys, no matter if I'm sick, depressed, or whatever the hell. that once in a while take my feelings out on people I'll try to it's just a habit but um it happens and um it's sad it really is I don't like taking my feelings out on people but sometimes I guess it's I guess it's just because I feel like I have to take my feelings out on someone. I guess the only reason why I do it is because I feel like I have to do it. Because I feel like I'm... I guess like I'm unheard. You ever get that? Where some days you just feel... So unheard. I, I I have that feeling, and it sucks. It it really, really, really sucks. I have the feeling like you're just unheard. Like no one will listen to you or understand you. At all, but but I guess that's life. And then the next main question is, why is life hard? Why is life the way it is? Why is life? the way it is is it like is is it like it's supposed to be that way or why oh, no. 
My dad keeps threatening me to get a job. You know what my dad said? He said to me that if I don't get a, if I don't have a job by the time I turn 17, he's gonna kick me out of the house. He's gonna kick me out of the house. Now. The problem with that is, I wouldn't have anywhere to go except for to live with my mom. She's a nice person, but she gets on my nerve once in a while. But, I love her, I really do. I love my mom. But, some days... Wear the same clothes. Yeah, yeah, they should do, buddy. But I think you get through this. I mean, you got through this. Some days I wish that. Okay, five minutes. Get China, big. And I will be right back with your heavy on. Don't worry, brother. I'm going to stay by your side all night. All right? Shh. Shh. Don't worry. 
But I've gotten used to being hurt. Now that's the sad thing. It's really sad when someone just looks at you and um, you ask them, how was your day? Did, I, did anything fun happen over the week? And you just look at him and you're like, And you're just like, yeah, it's fine. And then they're like, okay, what happened over the week? And they ask you what, what happened over the week and you just, just can't think of anything to say. <laughs> because you know, if you say anything, that no one's gonna listen.
trying to fit in a little water in there. Chris, you treat me like you hate me, and I don't know why. You say hurtful things to me constantly. Do you have any idea what that feels like? What if I said those things to you? What if I started calling you a fat city loser who has no friends and smells like an old woman who has worked for pets? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Still drinking. Is it too much to ask to be treated with a little decency from my brother? Maybe show me some kind of kindness by not jumping on the Let's Get Meg family bandwagon? There we go. Haha, <laughs> that's what I was trying to do. Then change. You can change. You just don't choose to. But you can change. You know how to change. Treat me. 
Well, I'm sorry, I'm in the middle of a video. I'm forgetting I have a goddamn life. You gotta learn to do things for yourself, woman. recording a video. <sighs> okay, I'm back. After dealing with my idiot mother. Okay. Thank you. 
sports, video games, even magic tricks. <laughs> got your nose. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, I got your face. <laughs> <laughs> Face it, Peter. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to bat the torch. I remember the first time Kevin beat me. I was so proud of him. I gave him a little congratulatory punch in the arm, and then another, and then everything got a little hazy. Kevin went to live with the foster family for a while. Anyway, it's inevitable. I don't feel bad, Joe. I, I think I know why you sent Jim. Apparently, you're a you're a 12 year old prepubescent girl, which is good because I finally have someone to give this trainer brat to. There you go, Josephina. You feel good on your new budding bosoms? Yeah? Yeah? It sure does! Get the hell off of me! <laughs> well, Rudolph, we finally figured out what makes your nose red. Is it pixie dust? The leprechaun tail? No, it's a tumor. You mean like a magical Christmas tumor? Oh, no, a malignant tumor. The big wish is lodged deep within your brain. Oh. Like a happy special... You're going to die. <laughs> You're going to die. Uh, okay, everyone, if you don't see Rudolph this Christmas, you know why. He's in a graveyard. If he says time's a factor, it means time's a fucking factor. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 